G'day guys, this is Booze Review, the show where we review the booze. Today we'll be looking at one that was recommended to me a little while ago by a guy called Head Charla, long time viewer of the channel, and commenter that is. We have ben Bentsbroke Brewing Company's Crankshaft Cranking IPA. Bit of a tongue twister there. Now this one here comes in at 5.8% ABV in this nice stylish 375ml can. So yeah, this was first introduced in 2014. So it's not that old, but yeah, it's not like new new either. And yeah, it comes from Canberra. Some of my wife's relatives lives around there and they recommended that I visit the brewery sometime. So yeah. Now I have tried this one before. It is pretty good, but I'll let you know my thoughts about it. So cheers for suggesting this one, Head Charla. It's taken me a while to finally get around to doing it. And I'll pour it out into this old Guinness mug. I really need to get some better glassware. Like all, you know, like all those Spiegelau like glasses that I got like at the start of the year, they're all destroyed, like all of them. They all cracked, like got broken in the dishwasher, et cetera, et cetera. So kind of sucks. Like the glass is just so thin. It's just so easy to break it. But anyway, maybe I'll go to the cheap shop and see if I can get a, just a beer glass there. Anyway, guys, this is Ben's bro, Bent, I can't, I can't fucking say it. Bent Spokes Crankshaft IPA. <laughs> It's just a tongue twister. Right off the bat there, about two, three centimeters of bright white head. Nice sort of hazy, almost like a slight golden, maybe orange appearance. Probably, yeah, about a medium to high amount of carbonation there, if you can see that. Yeah, it looks quite nice overall. Let's go for the aroma now, shall we? Definitely some citrus, mandarin. Have some tropical sort of apricot mango sort of sort of aromas there yeah smells good smells malty smells hoppy smells yummy so this is just an ipa didn't really say what style it is maybe sort of more so west coast ipa style but anyway let's uh shut the fuck up and uh, give crankshaft cranking ipa a little taste shall we cheers cheers Flavorful, smooth, yet has a level of lightness to it as well. At 5.8%, this is definitely a sessionable IPA. Um, you know, sort of a double IPA, you wouldn't want to session it, of course. But yeah, this has a lot of flavor, got a lot of body. Very good. A lot packed in there for 5.8%. Very nice. Let's go for another one, shall we? Mmm. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's got um, a lot of tanginess, a lot of sweetness. Yeah, it's definitely got a nice sort of hot punch to it. A nice sweetness from the malts. Yeah, everything's balanced pretty well here. Nothing goes sort of goes out of whack or anything like that. No, no flavor is too punchy. It's all good, man. It's nice. Yeah, definitely a good one that I recommend. He recommended to me. So cheers, Head Chala. Finally got around to it. But yeah, uh, four pack of this. 20, 20 something bucks, 20 bucks maybe, uh, 22, I don't know, around there somewhere. So yeah, craft beer is pretty expensive here, even more so expensive than regular beer, and that's already pretty expensive. Yeah, so what a nice IPA. I'm going to start, you know, trying to do some more IPAs and stuff on the channel and start exploring a bit more, um, because, you know, historically I've always kind of been the lager sort of guy, you know, but yeah, it's good to... Good to review something I don't typically review that often. Uh, I always enjoy IPAs. Didn't used to enjoy them. Uh, but yeah, very nice stuff, guys. So um, anyway, let's give Ben Spro Bent fuck, Ben Spokes... <laughs> ben Spokes Crankshaft IPA a final sip and a final score. Cheers, cheers. Cheers to mumbling my words. Mmm. Yeah, very nice overall. Pretty decent for a um, IPA. I know there's a lot of reviews on this on YouTube actually. Just YouTube alone, like you, well, you wouldn't think there'd be so many reviews of it, but yeah, there is. Um, as far as I know, none of my mates have actually reviewed it, like Jez or Swill or anyone like that or Hef. So, but um, yeah, I know there are quite a few reviews of it. So I guess it's popular. 
um, yeah, and held in a sort of a high regard. But anyways, overall, I'd have to give this cranking IPA probably an 8.75 out of 10. It's, it's very good overall. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Is it the best? Probably not, but it's very decent. I don't understand why people like it. So yeah, 8.75 out of 10 for Bent Spokes Crankshaft Cranking IPA. Yeah, I finally said it right. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, cheers.